Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Here we'll tackle a common tech dilemma, like how to recover permanently deleted files from your Windows PC. If you have ever accidentally deleted important files and thought they were lost forever, don't worry, I have got you covered. Join me as I explore how to recover permanently deleted files for Windows PC for free. So all right guys, let's see how this thing will work. Suppose I am inside of my USB. You can see right over here, this is my USB drive. And here I have a folder called like video. In this folder, I actually save my videos, which are like created for YouTube or stuff. So for instance, like if I just permanently delete this folder, by clicking shift and delete key. So you see that there are two types of deletion. One is permanently deleting the folder, which will not go to the recycle bin. And it will be deleted forever from this drive actually. So if I just hit yes, so now my folder is gone like permanently. It's not going to come back uh, whatever I do. So if I like go to recycle bin, so you see that I don't have that folder here. Let me just empty the recycle bin so that I could show how this thing works actually. So I emptied my recycle bin. Now my recycle bin is also empty. I also deleted that folder which contained my videos. So now what I need to do is I just simply need to open up a browser. You can like open up any browser. So I'll just simply type in here winfr.org. So this is the tool which we are going to use like winfr GUI. It was released in December 2021. So it's basically Windows file recovery software. And this is absolutely free, I guess. Now I just need to simply click on this thing like download free window fr gui so it's like uh, the setup is being downloaded it's done so i'll just click on that so yeah my installer is open so i just simply click on ok then next all right so it's just doing its things so you see it says like installation successful okay so now what we need to do, I just simply need to click on finish because launch window FR GUI is selected by default. Now, what I need to do, I just simply need to select the drive. You remember that I deleted from this drive, which is my USB. So I'll just simply click on this thing. Now you can just maneuver with these options. If you like go to the advanced settings, it's saying like what type of files you're going to target like while recovering. So I'll just simply click on all of them. You can choose audio documents like if you're just looking for a specific file type so you can just choose that as well okay so i'll just click on okay for now okay so now we have like scanning mode uh, it has like a uh, quick scan like it says that it can recover files with a directory structure and file names it only supports ntfs okay so for the best results i'll suggest you go for deep scan uh, scanning speed is slow but the accuracy is good so now i'll just uh, simply click on start recovery so need to agree the terms and conditions of the software yeah it's going to take time so let's see how much it will take so yeah all right you can see that our deep scan has successfully been complete so yeah total 12 files are found and it's been saved into this particular folder so if i just click on view recovered files so it will open up my folder so this is my folder you can see right over here so i have like two files one is like the recovery log let me just open this thing and see what did it recover so yeah it actually recovered like 12 uh, video files so you can see that the extension is dot mkv so we just close this thing out and if i just go into my miscellaneous folder so there is the folder of mkv extension so if i just open this thing so you see that all of my videos are successfully recovered in this folder you can see right over here okay so yeah that's actually a good sign and our deep scan has successfully completed so honestly speaking it just took me like four to five hours to recover these 12 files so obviously like you must be aware of the fact that the recovery of permanently deleted files is an expensive process and it takes 
time other than the drawback of the time it was like really efficient and it really worked out for me like you can see that all of my deleted video files are successfully been recovered and that's good it's working so if you want to recover the files that you have accidentally deleted so this could be a way for you so yeah that's it for this video i hope you like this one thank you so much for watching and i shall catch you up in some other one till then have a good day bye